guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the very creepy teddy bear picnic song. There is such a creepy story that I found about this song that has completely ruined my childhood, to be honest. I mean, I always found the song to be scary, but this story just made it so much worse. And don't pretend you don't know the song, okay? Even if you can't think about it at first, let me just sing it for a second. If you go down in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. You know that song, right? Okay, I'm gonna be talking about the history and then a creepypasta that has to do with it. And by the way, yes, I am wearing a SpongeBob shirt. It's the best show ever and that's not debatable. Before I get started though, just one last reminder. This is your last chance. If you want to submit your nightmare drawing to me to be in my video of me reacting to my subscribers drawing their nightmares, send it to nightmares-unleashed at outlook.com. And if you want to see if I do react to yours, I'm doing a live show on July 16th and the ticket link is down below. It's only $7 to watch the show or you can become a member in Jesse V World for $5 and then the show is included in that, which is so cool. So ticket link down below and the email address to send in your creepy drawing is down below. I have been looking through all of your artwork the last few days and guys, you guys, you guys are good artists and all of it's terrifying. Also speaking of fun events, on August 5th, I am doing a in-person meet and greet. I haven't done one of those in about seven months. It's going to be at our Peculiar Place store in Orangeville, Ontario. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description that gives you the address and all the information on how to find it. But it's a completely free meet and greet, which I think is so cool. We always try and do one of those every single year. All we ask is that you please bring a food item for our food drive. Now, the store is going to be open from 10 to 6 p.m. that day, but I have two time slots that I will be there to meet you. So I'll be there from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and then from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. So if you wanna meet me, I will be there at those times. So I hope to see you in person on August 5th. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into today's video. So in the 1930s, the music that was created tended to be quite somber, probably due to the state of the world at the time. And with this in mind, a composer named Henry Hall created a very spooky version of the song, The Teddy Bear's Picnic. It's just an incredibly off-putting, creepy tune that has been sung over the last hundred years by different artists. And like I said, I'm sure many of you watching have heard this song before. Comment the teddy bear emoji down below if you have. And I guess the question we all need to ask ourselves is, would you go into the woods while the teddy bears are having their picnic? Here are some of the lyrics so we can just all observe how eerie this song is. I'm not gonna sing it, I'm just gonna read it to you. It's kind of like a poem. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today is the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Every teddy bear who's been good is sure of a treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat and wonderful games to play. Beneath the trees where nobody sees, they'll hide and seek as long as they please. That's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better not go alone. It's lovely down in the woods today, but safer to stay at home. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today is the day the teddy bears have their picnic. That's only a few of the verses, but do you guys see how creepy it is? Like when I was a kid, the tune of the song really creeped me out. I never really listened to the lyrics, but now that I know the lyrics, what the heck were they thinking? This was made for kids? So let's get into the creepypasta because that's what we're all here for. This is about a boy who now believes that every tale and rhyme has some sort of truth behind it. When he was growing up, his mother always wore warned him to stay away from the woods near their house. She'd always say these three things. Josh, never go into the woods at night. Josh, there are things that wander the woods at night. And Josh, it's dangerous in the woods at night. And once on his way to school, the car radio began to play a song that went, if you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. And his mother immediately turned the radio off and reminded him never to go and play in the woods. And now that he's telling us this story, he knows that he should have listened to her. He remembered that ever since he was very young, him and his mother had a teddy bear 
in their living room. It had brown fur, black eyes, and it was wearing a little vest. It was just this normal little teddy bear that would always sit beside their fireplace. But what's weird is that his mother never let him play with it. She wouldn't even let him anywhere near it. So he just listened to her and left it alone. But now that he's grown up, and once again telling us this story, he knows why. He moved houses when he was 12 and noticed that his mother did not pack the teddy bear with them. They were leaving the house with their suitcases and he turned back as they closed the door and saw the teddy bear still sitting by the fireplace. But when he arrived at his new house, he remembers that his mother began sobbing when they walked in and saw the teddy bear sitting on a chair by the fireplace. At that time, he thought that maybe the movers saw that they had left the bear and brought it to their new house and set it up in the same way it was before. But of course, that's not what really happened. Even at their new house, his mother stressed the importance of not going to the woods at night. He went to a new school and eventually made a new friend, but he still made sure to always be home before dark, staying away from the trees. But when he turned 15, his mother sat him down and said, I know you're growing up and one day you might go into the woods with your friends or something. Just promise me if you ever go there at night, you'll hide your face, wear a mask or hood, just don't show your face. Which if you remember the song, if you go down to the woods today, you better go in disguise. One day his friend told him that he snuck out at night and came across a path in the forest that he had never seen before. He followed it and came across this clearing in the forest where he saw a bunch of teddy bears dancing around and having a picnic. He even said he saw his own teddy bear from his childhood there and when it saw him, it even waved at him. He thought his friend was just messing with him at first or just maybe had a weird dream that he thought was real. So he decided that he wanted to go see for himself. Around midnight when he was preparing to leave, he began to hear footsteps on the bottom floor of his house. He thought maybe his mother was up late so he went to go check on her but saw that she was sleeping soundly in her bed. He went into the living room and his heart dropped when he noticed the teddy bear wasn't sitting on the chair by the fireplace. It was gone. That's when he saw movement outside and he walked up to the kitchen window and saw a child being dragged into the woods by a strange shape. It definitely wasn't human. It was so small. So he started yelling and waving his arms trying to scare the creature away, but it only made it drag the kid faster into the trees. He remembered his mother's warning, but knew in his heart he needed to go after this poor child to save them. So he ran after them, taking a path through the woods, and he began to hear these small footsteps all around him, and suddenly came across a number of teddy bears of all different shapes and sizes. They were just like all gathered together and moving around like it was the most natural thing in the world. And in the very middle, they were holding the child that was sobbing. The bears were dancing around the child, but when they noticed him standing there, watching, they stopped. They all looked over at him. And his heart stopped when he noticed his own teddy bear, the one that should have been in the chair by the fireplace back home, and it recognized him. He ran back down the path to his house and locked the door, and in the morning he went downstairs and there it was in the chair like nothing had happened. The police looked through the woods but found nothing, and they were never able to find that child and soon after even his friend had gone missing. He decided to take the teddy bear to the middle of nowhere and he barely buried it in the ground with the chair and everything, but the next day it was sitting by his fireplace again. And they tried everything since then, but they could not escape it. And to make it even worse, every single night the bears from the forest surrounded their house, banging on their doors and windows, trying to get to them to drag them into the woods. And so here's the last thing he says, which is so creepy. It says, to anyone who reads this, please don't go into the woods at night. If you really have to, make sure they don't recognize you. I can hear them scrambling against my bedroom door now. Guys, I never thought a story about teddy bears would creep me out. Never in my whole life did I think I'd be sitting here telling you a teddy bear creepypasta. <laughs> but here we are today and it is creepy. And I think it's because I knew that song so well as a kid and now that I have this story attached to it, I never want to hear it again. Anyway, so guys, if you like this kind of video and you want me to talk about more nostalgic, creepy things, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you want to submit your nightmare picture, please email me at nightmaresunleashed at outlook.com. And if you want to get a ticket to the show, Nightmares Unleashed, I've also linked it down below. And if you're able to meet me in person on August 5th, I hope to see you there. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!